we turn to the second day of sweltering heat. 30 million of us in its grip. And this is the map tonight. 35 states baking at more than 90 degrees. And is that there is a connection to these extreme weather events that we've been seeing. The probability of these unusually uh, hot, hot uh, spells, uh, forest fires, and extreme droughts has increased substantially over the last few decades. The extremes, the highest uh, temperatures, will be very extreme, and we're now getting about 10% of the area in a given summer is covered by what we call three standard deviation anomalies. Those would have occurred only once or twice out of a thousand times 50 years ago. But now they're occurring about 10% of the time. For the last 10,000 years on Earth, the climate has been relatively stable, unusually stable. All of advanced human civilization has taken place during this 10,000 years. So what we've been doing for the last couple of hundred years is digging up carbon out of the earth and throwing it up into the atmosphere and changing the chemical composition of the atmosphere, like has happened in the past, except for way, 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 way faster. The bad news on this 2C number is twofold. First of all, all the latest science done in the last 10 to 15 years has pointed to the conclusion that those impacts we thought were going to happen around 2 degrees centigrade are in fact going to happen much earlier. Just in, at least 10 are dead after violent storms rip across the eastern seaboard and the Midwest. The victims, including two children ages 7 and 2. Those late night storms causing major destruction. Winds reaching 70 miles per hour, downing trees and knocking out power to millions. I'm Dana McGuire. We're going to face the planet. We are going to be walking to raise awareness for climate change. Regardless of where you live, uh, climate change is coming to you. If you believe that this is the most important issue of our time, would you do everything in your power to make a difference? The stunning truth is that we still can make a difference. 
must believe it. Who's going to walk with you? My husband, Gavin. Possibly another partner, David. This guy here, Simon. My toddler, his four, Ivan. Not your the cat. I'm doing. We are going to have some parts and wagon controllers that are holding our gear. Camping gear, food gear, clothing, diapers. We are going to be setting out from our own house right here and going as far as we need to and as far as we can to let people know that this is so important that we pay attention to this. We are going to be leaving behind our daily life our usual routine, our jobs, so that we can go out and uh, address this problem.